I'm not even recording my sound. Okay. <laughs> Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the Mass readings. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so blessed to have you, and thank you for praying with me. So we are going to be continuing our meditation in the Gospel readings. So we're in the Gospel of John still, and I actually want to take the time to read the entire Gospel today, but it's only six verses, don't worry. I think hearing the entire gospel is really important to kind of what I would like to meditate on today. Jesus says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is telling them not to be troubled, right? If you read earlier on to the chapter, he tells them a lot of very troubling things about, you know, people denying him, people betraying him. But he says, do not be troubled. And he talks to them about heaven and how he's put a place for them and that they ought to have that be their focus and him be their focus as to what to do and where to go. So I think that our Lord is really here talking about hope. And I also would like to read again to you from the Catechism of the Catholic Church because it has such a good definition of hope that I just think perfectly encapsulate what our Lord is talking about here. Hope is the theological virtue by which we desire the kingdom of heaven and eternal life as our happiness, placing our trust in Christ's promises and relying not on our own strength, but on the help of the grace of the Holy Spirit. So, I think of the three theological virtues, faith, hope, and love, you know, living out faith is pretty straightforward, you know. If you have faith, believe in God. Got that one in a nutshell. There's more to it, but in a nutshell makes sense. Love, pretty straightforward. Love God, love your neighbor, you know, we get it. But living in hope, that's kind of a tricky one, especially during times like this where things are so uncertain. And it's hard to have hope sometimes or know how to live a hopeful life when it seems like there's nothing to hope for. The way to live out hope is to live your life as if you have something to live for. Because living in hope is knowing that we do live for something. We're living for eternity with God. Eternal joy, eternal happiness. So living in hope is living like you have something to live for. My spiritual director told me once that self-discipline is the mark of a hopeful Christian. And it's something that I've never forgotten. Because it made me realize that if I was truly living in hope and living as though my life has meaning and it means something, that means that I'm treating my time well. I'm treating my body well. I'm treating the things I put into myself through my eyes and my ears. I'm using my body for good things and my words for good things. I'm living my life well because I'm hoping for eternity. Living a hopeful life is living one as though we were made for something because we know we're made for something. And I know that especially right now when everybody's home and we're trying to find weird things to do and we're bored to just kind of, you know, lay around and watch a lot of TV shows and what have you. And it's always a temptation. But I encourage you to see the beauty of living a hopeful life and using yourself as if you were made for something, something more than just the treasures of earth and the things you can touch with your hands. 
I hope that you can take this opportunity to think and reflect and work today to embrace what the Lord wants to give you that is so much more than what the earth can give you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, send it to a friend, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, tell me about your day, tell me about your life. I don't know. Talk to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. May we all ever grow in love of the Lord and have a blessed day. Bye. Very fancy setup. It's very precariously positioned.